Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be starting a new project, which is actually a project we've wanted to do for a while, which is make a replica of a Bowen's large frame snowplow. And quite conveniently, you might remember in our hundredth video, we picked up this large frame snowplow for Chris, which gives us the perfect opportunity to get all the measurements we need and make our snowplow while it's here. After a long time with the tape measure and digital calipers, we finally got all of our measurements. Let me show you some of them. You can see we've got quite a few pages of measurements and notes. Some more scientific than others. You can see this one was us noting down this curve on here. And uh, we decided to just line it up with the page and draw around it. But we've decided that we'd like to make ours hydraulic tilt, like Chris's one is, so we've got all of the dimensions for the cylinder as well. Because this is a replica, we want to make it look just like the Bolands one, which means copying a couple of oddities, like these holes in these panels that seem to serve no purpose. And these reinforcement triangles that don't actually go to the edges of the box section. And the weirdest of all is the fact that these plates don't line up with the box section. Like my fingers are along the edge of the plate and the box section just continues at a strange angle. It would be a lot easier just to make a plate that covers the box section and doesn't go off at the strange angle the plate does. But because we want to make it as authentic as possible, we're going to do it how this one's done. We had a look through our metal stock to find some second-hand metal that we could use for the snowplow. Unfortunately, the only thing we could find was a couple of these plates, which are the right thickness to be used for these brackets. But that meant that we need to do some buying. So here's our stuff that we've bought. This is our three metre length of box section, a bit excessive for what we need, but still, it's good. Then we've got these two steel plates of different thicknesses to do stuff like the reinforcement triangles and these plates and the plates holding, the brackets holding on the hydraulic cylinder. But then after a bit of a move around, we've got our, our two band saws, one older than the other, but it still works. We've greased them up and looked over them and the, they look quite good, so now to do some metal cutting. cutting later and we've got the three bits of box section cut and these two plates this one's to go underneath 
and you can see we've cut the angles on these two plates you can see we have these letters because we're not sure how well it's going to turn out but we're intending to do a write-up of how we're making this and you can better see here the difference in angles between the plate and the box section Some more cutting later and we've got all of the bits of metal we need for the frame. When you last saw it we had all of the box section done and these two plates. Now you can see we've got the reinforcement triangles, these two attachment brackets that go onto the tractor and then the lift arms that the push rods attach to. Now we need to do some machining. We need to drill a D in this plate and this plate and two holes. You need to put two holes in each of these, one of them being the hole that we can't find a purpose for at the moment. And then we need to drill some holes in here. With all of the metal cut, it's a good place to stop for today. But watch out for another video when we'll be continuing on the snowplow. Thanks for watching, comments welcome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video and see our other videos. More to follow as we do more on this tractor. Bye.